So hi guys and welcome to our Dark Souls 1 playthrough. Yeah! We thought it would be quite fun because me and Josh play the game a lot, like ridiculously a lot, because we love it. It's an addiction! <laughs> um, and we're gonna just do a normal game playthrough on the character that we normally use. Um, Josh normally goes Pyromancer, but even that normally goes a warrior, but they're basically the same apart from like fire. Yeah. But we basically do the same thing. So, we're gonna just go for it. So, you name our character, Josh. I don't know what to name it. Call no, it yes, Midnight. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sure. There <laughs> okay. And then we, we, we can actually distinct make it possible. Ah! Can't have Midnight Fun Times. No. Yeah. Not, not enough spaces. Boop, 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 boop. Would we like to be a lady? Yes, we will. Yes. And we want to be a pyromancer. Oh, yes. And we want the master key because we're cheats. Yep. Um, and we also want large boobs. Okay. And we want to be the queen. No, 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 no. You have to no. be the queen. No, dragon scholar. Fine. I'm normally the queen. What hair do we want? We're a pyromancer. Yes. Yeah, right. True. Also, Sam. Yeah, Sam will appreciate us being dragon scholars. Yeah. Right. What do we want? Pigtails. Pigtails. Totally pigtails. Okay. And we just go go for go for silver. We'll work from there. Customise time. I totally haven't done this before on keyboard. No, you've done it on <laughs> keyboard. What colour hair do we actually want? Should we go red for a pyromancer? Pink. You want to go pink? I don't like pink. But... I kind of like the... No, we're not going pink. I kind of like the turquoisey colour you can make. Awkward. Let's Pushing it all the way to black now. Let's just have black. No. Green? Red. Just red. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, if we can't have pink, we go red, right? Bright red. Yeah. Literally just no, no ifs or buts about it. That'll do. Boop, 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 boop. Let's start with this character, right? Here we go. All right, so tutorial time. Let's grab this key that's on this body and open the door. Do you want some extra souls, Josh? So on the floor are your little notes here, which you can read and it will show you how to do things. But we know how to play this. We know this. how to do this anyway. Let's how just many pummels, souls guys. do these guys actually give me? Two, I think. Twenty. Twenty? That's not bad. Try the heavy attack only. The heavy attack only? Yeah. Oh, Twenty. Okay. Oh. Whee! Okay, so we're just going to run around here. Oh, actually, we didn't check out straight even. Let's go say hi. Yeah. Get down here and you Sorry, turn, no, come and back look. and feed him. Then, like, a couple of hours done. Hey, stray demon, with your big axe, your big pain in the butt, with your titanite slab that we were going to get later. Yeah. So we can level up our claymore to level 15. Because we are totes bros. Hey, dude, what's your problem? What's your problem? Yeah, that's what I thought. Wait, nice little bit of a somersault there. Oh, oh. And there goes frame rate. Frame rate, right. would you please? For some bizarre reason. He was like, I'm actually going to do something. Should we light the lights anyway? Oh uh, no, 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 never, never light bonfires. Always light the bonfire and sit it, except this one, because you don't actually need it. And the next one you don't need. And you don't need the next one either. This is still part of the tutorial, but Dark Souls likes to troll you, so just completely and utterly ignore the giant demon that falls down. You don't need to fight him, you just run down here. We... Oh, we do need to fight. Yeah, just later. Not, yeah. Just not yet. The game lies. It's full of lies. It's full of lies and people that want to kill you. <laughs> Give me your stuff, please. I guess I probably need that. Quit my shield. Which the game does actually tell you how to do along here. Yeah, it's inside the, um, the room that you just did, right? Yeah. And I get hand axe because I'm a pyromancer. So we're going to get rid of this one and stick on a hand axe. Two hand and only heavy attack with it. Yeah. Get, get extra, extra souls. souls. Yeah. Only on this weapon though. Boom. Boom. Dead it. Very good. Nice camera. Extra four souls. Four extra souls. Fantastic. Totally meaningless, but. So there's lots of things like that fog so, gate that we just went past through in Dark Souls. Some of them lead to boss areas and some of them just lead to other areas. Yes. It's a bit misleading. 
let's go and see this. There is a nice little trap here, so you run up and trigger it and then roll off. And you get to go talk to Oscar, the guy that let you out of your prison cell, but he's not looking so good. Poor Oscar. You do have to fight him later on. Yeah, he's such a cool guy, that. Yeah. So you always pick, pick yes. I mean, you can kill him and you still get the stuff, but that's just mean because Oscar's poor. Yeah. It'd be more respectful to put him out of his misery. I, I would feel, but I only he do wants after to die and be on broad death. I just, normally do after yeah. he said his stuff. So he gives us our mission. You need to ring the bell of awakening. Ring of the bell of awakening. Oh, yeah. He gives you some stuff. He gives you Estus flasks. Oh yeah. Here we go. What should we get? Which is our health, basically. Which is refillable with bonfires. Mm-hmm. And then we can kill it. You know that health, you swig up that Estus. Which seems harsh, but he was gonna die anyway. So we get his stuff. Uh, and then Either way, you get his stuff. Yeah, and then we go upstairs and we kill this guy. Oh, or not. <laughs> God, that's two-handed. Go away. So you only went light attack there? Yeah, it's habit. <laughs> it's just habit. I'm actually not going to go for heavy on here. Because I'm so used to have, turning up with a shield. This is a blood ball. <laughs> um, we get our pyromancy oh. glove here. One day I'll be good at blood born. Um, oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, one is just a flask. It's fine. As you can see, our shield is absolutely freaking terrible. It is terrible because it's only a crack round shield, but yeah, yeah, uh, still sixty-five percent of damage, I believe. It's still better than nothing. Oh yeah. There's some kites on these guys out here. Hey, some bad dude over here. Dude over here. Come here. I'm gonna walk really slowly because I'm a hollow. Burn. It's nothing really. It's just like, oh, I've got a bow, you've got an axe. Don't bring a knife to a sword fight, or an axe fight, or some fight. Anyway. <sighs> I don't know why, but my nose is really itchy now. Is it really itchy? Is yeah. it so? Since right. we went on camera, it's strange. Okay, so now we're going to go try and kill a demon. Which, because we're a pirate monster, it's pretty cool. Because right. we're going to do this. Slam! One of the many rules to the game, when possible. Go for the uh, plunge attack. Go for the plunge attack indeed. Mm. I want to go by your butt. I like your butt, your butt sauce. Butt butt. I want to stab your butt please. I just want to stab your butt. Yeah, you just basically stab this guy in the butt. And he does nothing but die. And he's dead. Yay, tutorial raver. <laughs> we won the game. Actually oh, yeah. won the entire tutorial. Which I still know people have never got past. <laughs> we shouldn't name for names. I'm not naming names. <coughs> yes. <gasps> I didn't do anything, I just coughed. But, um. Even Hubby got past, right? Yeah, he did get past the tutorial. He got past the tutorial before I did, because he played, started playing before I did. Ah. Are well, you going to go down here and find But then you've been in it so many times, and Hubby still hasn't. Yeah, no. my, my original character is like, can you go plus four? Yeah. That's higher than mine. I've got bored with my main character. I'm bored at the moment actually. I might all assume smog on New Game Plus 4 and I get a bit bored. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's just a formality now mm. at that point. It kind of is. It's Which kind is of a shame. The second part of the game is always my favourite part of mm. How long does it take you to get there now then? Uh in my new on my original character. Yeah. An hour and a half. Looked yeah. Like, That's it. very long. Sounds about right. About an hour and a half, two hours. Depends if I actually do all the bits I should do or just skip optional bosses and just go for the main ones. Mm. Still at that point you can just go through it normally and get through in record time anyway. Mm. So. Right. So we're flying on this lovely little crow here to a place called Filing Shrine, which is, if you don't know the game, is the centre of the entire game. 
Oh, it's literally the hub. You can pretty much get anywhere from this place. Squawk! Here we go. Looking fabulous as always, we are here. Right, so we're going to have fun. And we're going to have a level up. And we're going to stick it in the dexterities. We need Only need one point in dex. One point in dex, is that it? Yeah, yeah. To it's 1610 uh, from a sword. Oh, nice. So just strength. Mm -hmm. I know that all too well. I've been playing the beginning of the game quite a bit. Okay. So we still need a couple more, two more, to hold the sword that we want to get. Mm -hmm. But what we can do. So, do you want to circle around this area or.? Yes, yeah, go around this area and pick up all our gear. So, in for Electroid, there is gear for you to pick up. The game Tons doesn't... of it. Lots of it. So, you can pick up your Humanities, which is very useful. Very rare commodity. Don't go the wrong way because that will make you an idiot. It's not too rare, but. No. Amazingly. We can go along here and find some fire bombs as well. Mm. In this little uh, corner here. Give us some fire bombs. <laughs> actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll quit these. Ch -ch -ch Cherry bomb! We actually won't need that for humans for a while. We won't even need fire bombs. No, but I like having them equipped. It's always an option. Okay. Sometimes when you're in the poops, throw a fire bomb at someone if you run out of other stuff. Um, we can't go the lifts way, can we? Yeah. Yes, we can, because we drop down. Yes. Exactly. Just remembered. There's a drop down bit. Although, right, right behind you, and that is a soul. Yeah. Up here. Ah, uh, yeah. Here we are. So we get the soul, get a free thing, and then we go and look for our free stuffs downstairs. So, by lifts, there's none here, but you can drop down and there's a little secret passageway. It took ages for me to know about this bit as well. Really? Yeah, yeah. It was uh, a couple this... of months ago someone showed it to me. It was either you or Frankie. I found it. Me. I found it when I was just running around being an idiot while I tried to find free stuff. Because when... Oh, I always thought it was just a uh, drop to your death. No. So I always left that bit. So. It's confusing though. If you don't know it's there, then, then yeah, it could be construed as a drop to your death. We can go and get souls from the skeletons, but I'd rather not. Because they are pretty nasty if you get them on your tail at this moment. Really? Ah, you missed two souls. Did I miss two? Is it two yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you yeah, I've got a skelly. I've got a skelly. It's fine because a uh, really cool thing about bonfires is um, they reset. reset your enemies. Ha! Oh, hands. He's far too close. He's too close. Oh no, he's gone now. That's fine. They reset your enemies, so mm. the skeletons won't be there when we go back now. Which is good because we don't want the skeletons there. It's kind of, you don't have to go around to get all this stuff like early on, but it's best to. I'll say if you go left first. And through that bit. So there is one here. Yeah, around the uh, pillar there. Be careful, you might fall. Alright, and I'm bad at platforms, I'm not that bad. <laughs> it's just uh, because it's a slope, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, weird. yeah. yeah. Whatever. Oh, fine. Whatever. I'm, fine. I'm notoriously bad at platform levels in this game. I will probably not die a lot until we get to platform levels. Also, I can be a bit like kind of cocky. Yes. Especially the amount of times you've been with a game and whatnot. We get cocky. Yeah. Don't ever get cocky with ourselves. It's like, yeah, okay, I'm much better than this. Where's the other one then? And uh, you get punished. You just picked up both. Oh, okay. Yeah. I knew the other one was. I didn't know what this one was. Yeah. Oh. Way. Okay, right, so we got some stuff. Mm -hmm. Is there any I can't think of any other stuff around here? Apart from the other stuff that we need to get, which is up here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're going to play the game, through properly you go this way. We're gonna start going through this way and then we're going to do something else. Yes. So up here we have our little uh, little blighters.
Ooh. Give me some. Oh, that's a big one. Mm. I forgot we're an area we shouldn't really be at. <laughs> <laughs> so that one tops for 800. Hey, dude. These guys don't aggro you, but they are good if you just need early on souls. Which we had to get. Just straight up hollows. They, they attack you if you attack them. Yeah. Once you aggravate them, they'll they aggro against you. Or they'll just die. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so. This little thing around here. Oh uh, yeah, that one pops for 1,000. Yes. Yeah! Souls mean... Um, prices. prices. Yeah. Souls mean good weapons. Higher good, levels. Higher levels. Um, money. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff to collect. We're informative. <laughs> <laughs> Be informed! <laughs> You've been informed! Oh man. Just totally not pick up the dragon stuff. Totally a train wreck of a show, man. Hey! <laughs> right. Are we just going to go for the one thing? Yeah, I think pick so. Up, which is the one thing we can pick up if we got it's the one thing. Unless if you want to pass over the control to me. No, I'm going to go, it's this, <laughs> it's this thing we can pick up, isn't it? Yes. It's the only one you can pick up without aggro in him. That was Proud Knight, which pops for 2,000. Mm. Which will pop soon. Yes, because we need them level ups. Mm. Okay, so round here is... Oh, Mr. we'll need it for, uh, for Clayton. Yes, we will. Round here is the uh, Drakey Faces. Yes. Which are... And he starts bringing from about here. Yeah. Do, do, do. Ha ha! Sucking it. Oh, 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 oh that was close. <laughs> <laughs> Silly wyverns. I'm not very good at platform levels. It's fine. I held it together. Oh yeah. And we're here. We only need to get to this place. Boop, 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 boop. We just want to use the lift. Yeah. And I am going to bonfire at the next bonfire, even though Josh doesn't normally, because I suck at taking down the next the next fight, which is uh, Black Knight. Because I'm not very good with my backstabs. I can parry okay, but I'm very bad at backstabs. Um, and you don't want to be bad at backstabs against Black Knights this early on. Because mm. they're, a, they're a mini boss for a reason. They're a pain in the butt. Yeah, that's much better than what I'll work with. Okay, so you can't level. Do you want to pop souls now? Yeah, no? that's cool. Cool. Well, we just had a bit of a, a bonfire rest because we were just sleepy and needed to rest. And now we come up. We come up uh, an area of dark red basin. Ah, oh, pants. I forgot it was this quick. Pants. I forgot it was this quick. See how bad I am. See how bad I am. He doesn't follow you down here, which is why I ran away. Yeah, it doesn't go through that entrance there. Basically, no. So you can sort of just stand. He just resets. Oh, you're getting trapped, you're getting trapped. Yeah, it's, it's fine, just go in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Giggity? I normally do. Giggity? <laughs> this is what I normally do. Here he comes. Aha! We are after a shield, which is down here, which is really, really good. Which I might actually, because this crap round shield is so bad. Just go full ham and get it. Yeah. Plan. Ham. Ouch. That didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, the reign of Josh. Josh. Josh no can now not do the ham way and actually do it. I'm so bad at playing play. I norm what I normally do is run, go the other way, run down, pick up the shield, and run back up again without getting killed. Um because I'm not very good at backstabs, but Josh is the master, so he'll show us how it's done. There we go, see. <laughs> now the shield's a lot better, like, because our little crap round shield wasn't, like, taking any, any of the damage away. Hmm. Basically, because he's got the Black Knight Hellbook, which I actually okay. used in my character for a while. Oh, ham. You get ham now. It's getting a bit ham. Damn it. You did get a, you did get backstab though. That did a whole thirty seven points of damage though. Yeah. It's not a lot of damage. It's alright. I don't plan to kill him with just damage. No, you just you want to get him off the edge, don't you? Ah uh, yeah, just like this. Boom! Suck it. 
Bye. <laughs> See, this is why this is bye, why Josh bye. should always kill the black knight because. <laughs> You, you know we said ooh. earlier you're at ooh, 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 ooh. and halberd. The halberd's really actually a really good weapon. Yeah. It's a bit slow, but it's really worth using. Like in New Game Plus, I used it for a while. It was really good. Well, my main character Yumi Kiko used to uh, run around with that. It's really plus five, I think. It's got a really yeah, but you can plus five it up, and it's got really good range. So if you don't want to get too close to them enemies, it's really good. But we know a much better weapon in this game. Claymore's the best weapon. Like yeah. Far. Plus 15 Claymore will get you through pretty much everything. I'm still using a plus 15 Claymore and you go plus 4. It's uh, debatable whether that's the best or the Bastard Sword's the best. Bastard Sword gives you 2 extra damage, Claymore gives you a tiny bit extra reach. I will argue the Claymore is only because you get it for free. Mm -hmm. It's a free weapon, so you don't have to buy it, but it is in an area which is a bit ham. Yeah, got a chunk. So, yeah, we're going to go for the claim, and we'll show you where it is during this playthrough. Yeah, so I'll so get to get the uh, next bonfire, and then we should split. Mm -hmm. So, we're running up um, the area called Dark Root, Base, Dark Root Basin, and we come to the really bottom of it, and then we're in Dark Root Garden. You get to fight a butterfly in Dark Root Garden, and a Hydra in Dark Root Basin. But Hydra is a mini boss, not a proper one. The Moonlit Butterfly, however. Is what moss. we need. Purple moss is what we need. Purple moss is cool because it cures poison. If you get blooming purple moss, it, cool, it cures toxic. Um, poison and toxic, basically, while you're poisoned or while you're toxic, it reduces your health. Um, so you have to keep using your healing items to keep your health up, which is not cool. Uh, we just ran past a blacksmith as well. The blacksmiths are a cool. They yeah, that guy's pretty cool, up. actually. Andre. Pop. So Josh is going to pop a human here. Double. Two of them. Yeah. And what he's going to do is he's going to make himself a human. So at the moment we're like an undead zombie. And then he's going to do a thing called Kindle the Bonfire. Which is, it, it gives you... All bonfires will give you five Estus flasks, apart from Firelink Shrine and any bonfire with a fire keeper at it. So like an NPC that's actually the keeper of the fire. Um, and they will give you ten. So um, if you want to get other bonfires to give you ten, you have to do a thing called kindling, which is you offer a, a piece of humanity to the to the fire and it gives you ten. Um, later on in the game you can get a thing called the Rite of Kindling, which allows you to kindle them up to twenty. Um, which you get broken in a boss called Pinwell. But don't worry, because Pinwell's really easy to kill. So, we're taking on. Yes. Right. In fact, if you want straight from um, getting to Final Shrine, you can go after Pinwell. You can. It's difficult. Like, you, it's a bit ham, but you can do it. And you use a summon called Leroy. And he's, he's awesome. Um, so yeah, I think what we're going to do is uh, Josh is going to clean up these hollows here. And we're oh, gonna, yes. we're going to split. Yes, and we'll be are. back with more Undead Parish and more of our sort of front playthrough. Boom. Bye!